Hey guys, welcome to the flat foot journey. So first of all, we're just going to start standing. Uh, so raising up onto a demi point and then onto a full point. Demi, full point. So this whole thing takes less than 15 minutes and this video is just going to show you uh, rep for rep how I do it so that you could play it and then follow along with the video without having to pause. Um, so I do about... 12 to 15 reps of this on each foot and you start to feel the burn fairly quickly because the idea is that you raise up onto the demi point then you flip over the toes to get a little bit of a stretch but then as you come back down really push almost like you're trying to squish something underneath your foot so there's a little bit of force um, and then just make sure that the ankle is going straight up over the toes so that there's no sickling or sideways swaying of the foot. So as you can see, it's pretty straight up and down. You don't need to squish the toes too much. It's obviously a lot nicer on like a carpet or a yoga mat. Then the second movement is to raise up onto your demi point, really squeezing through the glutes and then slowly walk back down one heel at a time. And this is another one where you really push down with one heel at a time. So quite strong. This is another one where you start to feel it in the calves. But the whole idea is to ignite the muscles around the arch and start to get them working because what's happening is these muscles have gotten lazy and that's why our feet are getting flat um, as soon as we stand up. So we're trying to work the muscles of the feet. So there should be a slight burn. And after the first day of doing these exercises, if you're sore, that's probably a good indication that there was some weakness going on in the foot. So then we turn out and find our first position. So do out and in, out and in, really turning from the hips so that you can find the perfect first position for you. And then the same movement. So demi, point, demi, flat. Demi, point, demi, flat. Demi, point, demi, flat. And again, it's about 15 reps on each side. I kind of lose count. Um, because I usually start getting distracted. <laughs> but you'll feel it. As soon as you start feeling that you've, you've done enough, maybe do like five more. And that's usually about 15 is how I find it. So you can see also my foot starts traveling away as I do this movement. So it's a good idea to, as you press back down, try and slide the foot back in just slightly because it's really easy to start moving away and then end up in a second position with your leg way out to the side. And if you were doing these in socks, which is a good idea if you've got a, a hardwood surface, then you can slide back and really press into the fall to floor to bring the foot back towards you. So you don't need the ballet bar here. I'm just using it because it makes it a little bit easier. Now I refind the first position and I come back up onto the demi point and it's the same as that walking exercise that we did with the feet in parallel. So really pressing down, bending one knee at a time. And you can see how much my calves are working to lift me up there and as well to press down. And make sure that the knee tracks over the toes. That's really important for your joints. So if you're anything like me, my right foot really wants to roll in, in this point, in these movements. So I have to really like watch it and think about lifting up in a straight line from my toes. Okay, then we're gonna come down and this is where you can take your TheraBand. So give them a little roll because I find that they get quite stiff after that movement. So here you can either use the TheraBand or if you don't have the TheraBand yet, you can also use a soft ball. So the one that I'm using, that pink one, yep, that is um, specifically a bar attack ball. So you can get those from like Rebel Sport for fairly cheap. Otherwise, um, if you've got like a toy, like a half deflated ball, that would work. But I also think it would work with a really plush toy. 
um, it is a little bit harder to keep stable. So I prefer the TheraBand for this movement. And it's almost exactly like what we did when we were standing. So you go from a flex foot, keep the knee straight, flex, demi, point, demi, flex, demi, point, demi. And the important thing with the point, which nobody tells us, is to keep the toes straight. So often when we point our toes, we curl the toes under, and that's actually incorrect. What we want to be doing is lengthening the toes because that lengthens the line of the foot when we go into a point, and it also starts working all of the muscles that use the toes, that the toes use, sorry. So demi, point, demi, and it gets really hard not to curl the toes. So because as you move through the reps and with the TheraBand pulling on it, it looks like they're quite curled, but I think it's just as long as you're making the attempt to extend the toes out and working with the intention, they will get stronger and they will be able to push the TheraBand away. So you can see in the demi, there is a little bit of an arch happening there. So that's why the demi point is so important. And this articulation of the foot is actually how we should be pointing our foot. Usually we start with the toes and we just curl the toes and then point the rest of the foot. But actually a true point will look better and give us a better line if we go from the flex to the demi and then articulate the toes down. And just make sure the knee stays straight. So if you don't have the TheraBand yet, this still works without anything pulling on it. it TheraBand just adds that little bit of resistance. And again, I do about 12 to 15 reps either side, maybe as many as 20 if I want to move a little bit faster. this Because you're not standing on the feet this time, this one you can do a little bit. Um, a little bit more in terms of volume and again you should start to feel a bit of a burn as you get closer to the 20 rep mark so next we're going to be working the big toe so when we come into a point the big toe actually has quite a lot of muscles to make it functional but we often don't move it in isolation often we move all of our five toes together so part of this is trying to move the big toe in isolation don't move any of the other toes so try and keep them as still as possible and just point in the big toe because when you point your feet it's really easy to leave the big toe behind and all the other toes curl down and the big toe doesn't move so we're trying to just get some awareness and strength in that big toe again about 20 reps and I find it really hard like the first few I can move my big toe and then my other toes start moving so I find it quite difficult to really isolate that big toe Again, this one you can do without the TheraBand. It just won't have the resistance, but it's a good exercise for isolation just to hold the other toes, press the big toe away, and then eventually you won't need to hold the other toes. You can just practice wiggling that big toe. That reminds me of Kill Bill. Wiggle your big toe. If you haven't seen that movie, that won't make sense. And you can just keep the foot flat. Or you can do this one standing as well and just keep the heel slightly lifted. Okay, so now we're working on the side, so resisting the sickle foot. So working on this side strength. So when we point, we want to be pointing almost like we're trying to point away from the midline of the body, like almost like we're trying to do a slight turnout. That will give us a nicer pointed foot. Um, rather than the sickle so we need to really work those muscles so hold the theraband in like this diagonal towards the midline of your body around the little toe and then really point towards the little toe side and that's going to be that's going to show your perfect point and try and keep the toes lengthened in this movement and hold for like a microsecond so go to the side hold and then come back to the side hold and then come back Move to the other side and you'll have to kind of hold the TheraBand slightly to the side to really get the right resistance and you'll just play with the angles and feel what's right for you.
Again, about 20 reps is plenty. So this whole thing should take less than 15 minutes, which means that you, that's completely doable every single day, which I'm hoping in 30 days means that we all have beautiful high arches. Okay, now this last one is called doming. So there's two parts to this doming exercise. So flatten out the toes. So make sure that they're really flat against the ground, not curled under. So you may need to use your fingers to flatten them out, keep them flat, and then try and keep them pressed down into the ground, like so that you can't lift up. And just test them, test flicking the toes up. And I hold for about a minute each side. And I just keep flicking and testing because as soon as I stop doing that, they start to relax or they start to curl under. And what else are you gonna be doing for a minute besides looking at your feet? Just try and keep them flat, push the knuckles down if you need to, to really flatten them out. So this, in these movements, I also find that my arch wants to collapse like I really want to go super flat footed in that so the added extra if you've got it in you to kind of focus on two things at once but we are women so of course we can um, is to imagine that you've got like a fishing line attached to your arch and then it's just gently lifting up so without rolling the foot you would be lifting up in the arch okay so this is the second part of the doming so you just release the toes and then practice picking up the theraband you can also do this with a towel or a t-shirt um, or even just with nothing but just practicing lifting with the toes and then releasing lifting and releasing so the other side again start with the toes flat doming so this side I find really hard to keep my um, toes flat. They really want to curl under. So I have to constantly be pushing them down and then flicking up. See how much they want to curl. So yeah, about a minute each side is plenty. And a lot of these exercises you can just do when you're sitting around watching TV or not doing anything. Like it's, these aren't gonna fatigue you or anything. They're not gonna create like serious DOMS. It's just, it's pretty low, um, low impact movements and exercises. So they can be repeated throughout the day if you really want to or you find yourself doing nothing. Just sit around and play with your feet. Why the hell not? Okay, and then back to the theraband, lifting. And I just do about 10 of these lifts. I don't find that you need too many more. Also, I don't really like encouraging the curling of the toes too much. So once we've done those 10, that's pretty much it. Now we just need to stretch out the feet. So the easiest way to stretch them, I find, because we want to be gentle. So there are videos out there that I've seen where you tuck the toe underneath you and really use the floor to push, but I think that's too strong. So I like to hold the heel and then pull the toes down. And often the biggest stretch I feel is in the toes. So I want to move the, the stretch into the top of the foot. And then I massage out the arch. I just get it soft and supple again, particularly after all those exercises, it's nice to give it a massage. And then interlace the fingers with the toes. So that just gets a nice spread and a bit of a stretch open in the feet. Um, and it also starts to give some awareness to the toes to operate separately. And then I come back to that overarch stretch. And you can be a little bit rough, but give them some love. Do it with some loving attention. So yeah, hold the foot, hold the heel and curl down. I, this also helps me to isolate it into the top of the foot. See how you can see a little bit of a curve where my tattoo is? If I do this on the ground, then I end up just feeling it all in the toes. 
um, which is useful. I also want to stretch the toes, but I find this is a better stretch for my toes to get them spreading apart. And do some circles and really get into that arch. And then we're done. Happy feet today. Thanks, guys.